Hey there, how is it going everyone? This is part 3 of a series of videos in which we create a web application using Flask and React.js. Now we've created our API with the various endpoints needed for our frontend to work. However, when we look at our code, we have all our logic in one file. That's the authentication logic as well as the logic to create, read and update the different recipes. So in this video, we are going to be organizing our file structures as well as carrying out unit tests for our application. So the first thing I'm going to do is to separate the logic of authentication as well as logic of uh, creating, reading and updating the recipes. And then we are going to carry out unit tests in the coming, coming uh, video. So to do this, I'm going to come and I'm going to create a file which I'm going to call auth.py. Now within auth.py, this is why we're going to have all our authentication logic. So to do this, I'm going to come and say from, from Flask, first x, first x, I'm going to import uh, API as well as the resource class. And after importing this, I am going to come and create a namespace. So a namespace is similar to a blueprint as it helps us to have our logic in one module, which we later register into the main application. So to do this, I'm going to create our first namespace. So I'm going to say auth namespace is going to be equal to, uh, I'm going to import namespace as well. So I'm going to say, so in this case, we do not actually need the API class. So we shall need namespace class. So our namespace is, uh, is an instance of the namespace class and then we pass in the name of the namespace so in this case it's going to be our auth namespace so then i give a simple description so i'll say the description is going to be equal to uh, namespace for our let's say authentication so this is going to be for our authentication after doing this the next thing is going to be to uh, Import all our authentication logic and then decorate it with the at namespace dot decorator. So I'm going to go to main.py and I'm going to first get this sign up route. So I'm going to come and I'm going to remove this sign up route. So I'm going to bring it to our auth and I'll say this is going to be at auth namespace. So this would be auth namespace dot route. Then sign up, then we shall also get our login route. So I'm going to come and say uh, login. So I'll copy this login route. Just come right here and remove this. So I'll also put that in here. Now, after doing that, the next thing is going to be to uh, import the various variables. So I'm going to put the sign up, the login model. So I'll come to our main.py and get these two models. So I'll put them right here. So I'll just come and put them just below here. That means I also have to import fields. So I'm going to import fields. After importing fields, the next thing is going to be to, let's say we have resource, we have the sign up model. So wherever I have API, we're going to change to a resource. So I'm going to change this. This is going to be auth namespace. So we need to change this to auth namespace dot expect. Everywhere we see uh, we have API. In this case, we are going to change to namespace. So after doing this, we are going to also import our model. So I'm going to come to the top of our code and say from models, we are going to import the user model. And after doing that, let's see there's anything else that we haven't yet imported yes there is uh, create access tokens so we're going to import those from main.py i'll just come right here and simply copy this so i'm going to cut this then put them within our imports so after doing that i'm also going to come right here so config def config models pass by great json ufi so let's see so i'm going to also import also going to copy this 
going to copy this and then paste it within here. I'm hoping everything has been imported. We are having our authentication namespace. So let's also create the recipe namespace. So you to come right here on our backend. So then say our uh, recipes. So this is going to be the recipes module. And this recipes module is going to have all the logic specific to creating, reading, updating, and deleting recipes. We each have uh, so each first import the model. So I'm going to say uh, actually let me first create the namespace. So I'm going to say for task first x. I'm going to import um going to import namespace and then uh, resource. So after doing this, the next thing is going to be to create our namespace. So this case is going to be our recipe namespace, and this is going to be equal to uh a namespace so I'll say it's going to be a namespace and then we give the name of the namespace in this case it's going to be recipe and then a simple description of the namespace so in this case we're going to see uh let you just call it a namespace namespace for so this is going to be our uh, recipes so then after that we are going to import the various we're going to actually all the various logic attached to creating, reading, updating, and deleting these recipes inside this file for this module. So go back to my main.py and then I'll copy all these. So I'm going to copy uh, API. I'm actually going to copy all this. So this recipe model, recipes, and then I'll come and then up to where we are deleting a recipe. So I'm going to copy this. Then come to recipes, then I'll paste this. Now, everywhere we have at API, we're going to change this to at recipe. So I'm going to change all of this. So this is going to be at recipe model. Then after that, the next thing is going to be to import our route. So to import our model, sorry for this. So I'm going to import our model. So we shall also, since we have our fields, we are also going to import them. So I'm going to come and say fields. And then after that, we are going to, to import our models. So I'm going to come and say uh, from uh, from models, I'm going to import uh, the recipe model. This is what we are working on in this uh, this part of the code. So let's fix this. So we are having our model. We also need to import the DB. So let's see. Um, if we're using DB at all. So we imported our models. So the next thing we forgot to import is uh, the JWT required decorator. So we're going to import that. So we're going to come right here and say uh, from Flask Rest X. So this is going to be from Flask Rest X. Then we're going to import the JWT required decorator. So hoping that our namespace are now set up, we're going to go to our main.py and then create an application factory. An application factory will help us to create our application in different ways or in depending on the configurations we may need, we may be able to create various versions of our app. So to do that, I'm going to come to our main.py and then instead of having just one file that has all the logic for running our app, what I'm going to do is to create the application factory function that's going to create our app and then return the app. So to do this, I'm going to come and simply wrap all these within a function. So I'm going to, to create our create app function. So I'm going to say create app. And then after that, I'll just come and say uh pass in a config in here. So can have our config and then we can set up our application to run on that specific config. So in this case, when I say def create app config, so it takes in the configuration value. For example, if we had uh, our dev config, we may just import it and then simply pass it in here to configure our app for development. So what I'm going to do is to come and put all this logic within our create app function. And then after that, I'm going to come and, and then wrap all these within our create app function. I hope everything is working. Now, 
instead of running our app from here what i'm going to do is to actually come and just return our app now after doing that the next thing is going to be to import the various namespaces we have and then register them onto our api so to do that i'm going to come so we need to remove some of the things we do not need here uh things like uh, fields so i'm going to remove fields as well as the resource class now after doing that the next thing is going we're going to remove even uh, the JSONify and the request since we don't make use of them we are having our recipe so also add the user model so this is going to be our user then it's going to have a value of our user model after that is done uh, we are having so plus press x so we are having our jwt manager which we did not import so you need to say from Basc JWT extended, I'm going to import the JWT manager class. After doing that, the next thing is going to be to, to try to see if our application is going to run. So, however, we haven't yet registered our namespaces. So I'm going to import our namespaces. Um, I'm going to remove this for now. So I need to come and import our namespaces. So I'll say from, so I'm going to say from recipes, we are going to import our recipe namespace. And then I'm also going to import, so from auth, I'm going to import our auth namespace. So to register this, I'll just come and near our API, I'll just come and say at API, so this will be API, dot add, namespace just like you can say app dot register blueprint so in this case you say um, add namespace and then we shall just say a uh, recipe namespace next thing will be uh, api dot add so we need to add our auth namespace so we need to add auth namespace so we need to come and say this is going to be our auth namespace now hope everything is running then hope everything is now working we are going to run our app by creating a separate module in which you are going to run our app. So I'm going to come right within our backend. So I'm going to create a new file, which I'm going to call run.py. So within this file, within this run.py file, I'm going to import the config as well as uh, as well as our create our application factory function. So what I'm going to do is to say from, from main to import uh, our create app function and then i'm going to import config so i'm going to say from config i'm going to import a config that i may want for to run our app so in this case it's going to be a development config so i'm going to say if underscore underscore name is going to be equal to underscore underscore main Sorry for this. This is going to be a string. So I'm going to say, uh, this is going to be a uh, app. Our app is going to be equal to create app. Then the config we're going to pass in in this case is going to be our test config. So after this is done, we are going to run our app. So I'm going to say app dot run. Now hoping that everything is working, I'm going to come right here and set Python. Run.py. So we see uh cannot import name JWT required from plus Christ X. So let's try to see where that is. So this is in our recipes.py on line three. So we are having from Flask Christ X. So actually this is uh, from plus JWT required, JWT extended. So let's try to run again. So recipe model is not defined. Let's try to see where this is on line nine. Um, let to fix this. So this is recipe model. So actually, this is supposed to be recipe namespace. Let's try to fix this. So I'll come and call this recipe namespace self. And let's try to run our app again. So we see model object has no attribute route so we have we are having this mistake let's try to fix it so we need to come and um going to come 
fix this. Actually, what I'm going to do is to manually do it. So I'll come right in here. Then I say this is going to be a recipe namespace. Then right here, I also name this to uh, our recipe namespace. Then I also change this to our recipe namespace. Go ahead and change also this one. It's going to be our recipe namespace. This one too will also be our recipe namespace. Then also change this to our recipe namespace. Um, change this to also recipe namespace and so hoping that everything is working. Now I'm going to try to run again. Now we have uh, test config not defined, so I'm going to import that. So I need to come to our run.py. And also, oh, this was supposed to actually be dev config. So let's try to see dev config. So let's try to run our file. So now that now our application is running. So when you go to our localhost 5000 and you refresh. We're now having our app separated into namespaces. So let's try to see how this is going to work. So when you come right here, we have a, a recipe namespace that's specific to the recipes. And you also have an auth namespace that's specific to auth. So basically, this helps us to separate our logic, uh, our authentication logic from our recipes logic. Now, in the next video, we are going to be looking at unit testing. We're going to unit test our app. So please like and share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel about all these. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Hey.